In this video, I'm going to show you some of the techniques and tools that I use when creating digital planners. We're going to be working in Adobe InDesign. That is my go-to app for digital planners. I'm not going to be showing you how to use InDesign in depth. I'm going to show you some of the techniques and the tools that I use to save time when creating planners. So if you create digital planners that you make for yourself or you sell or you want to be doing that, I feel confident that you will learn some time-saving tips in this video. So let's go ahead and get started. I want to first show you the interactive PDF that this design resulted in so I can show you how all of the buttons work and function. So we'll pop over to Acrobat so we can go to the planner there. And this is the cover of a recent planner that I've designed and built using InDesign. And I've made a lot of these buttons interactive to help you jump throughout the planner and also created customizable notebook sections. So the end user, the one using the digital planner on their iPad, whether in GoodNotes or Notability, they're able to customize the sections of these notebooks. And perhaps one could be the grocery list, um, to-do list, and so on. So on. So, for example, 2021 here is a year at a glance, and each one of these items are linkable. The months are linkable, as well as the days and then the weeks here are linkable as well to a weekly view calendar. So if we pop back over here, we can see that the daily view goes to the daily view part of the planner. And this is the main menu. You can always make an index button to kind of bring you back to like a home type page, an index page where you can access the rest of the planner as well. So I usually like to have a year at a glance there and these are all linkable as well. And this is what I was referring to with the different notebook sections. So that area that said one, when you click on that, you'll jump to section one of the notebook. And you can access those down here as well from every page. Say you wanna to go to notebook number two, number three, number four, number five, and so on. So now that you have an idea of the different functions that we're going to be using, in the interactive planner. We'll pop back over to InDesign and I will show you some of the ways that I create these tabs here to show up on every single page without having to actually build them on every page because these planners can become quite large. Um, there's This one has 554 pages so as well as the stickers has a tab and there's always like a central location, like I said, the, the main index. So I think what I would like to show you first are the master pages. And then after the master pages, I'm going to just quickly show you how I utilize bookmarks and hyperlinks. And then um, I think the most of time-saving efficiency tool that I'll show you or technique that I'll show you is how to have the text flow from one page to the next. So for example, the daily view page, um, let's see, I can't get there from there. I have to click on bookmarks here and go to daily pages. So on the daily page, each page says it shows the date. It reads the date. So Friday, January 1, 2021, Saturday, January 2nd, and so on. So I didn't type in this date on each page. I created a master template and then I used Microsoft Excel to create that text, 365 line items, and then I bring that into InDesign and have it flow through each page. So that's what I'm gonna show you how to do. So first of all, we're gonna start with the cover. And the first item I'll show you is bookmarks. So that's this function here in InDesign. 
So each page that you'd like to put a bookmark on, you can identify. So I have a bookmark for the cover page, the index page, year at a glance, and everything here on this list, just to help me quickly jump to each section that I'd like to jump to. And you can create as many of these bookmarks as you'd like. The sticker page somehow landed in that as in that folder. So I'm just going to pull that out. There we go. And you can click and drag any of these in a different order. So if you wanted to put the year at a glance at the top, you could do that as well. And once you import your interactive PDF into an app like GoodNotes, you'll see these bookmarks in the outline section. So it will also help the end user with a type of a table of contents. So we'll go back to the cover. The next tool I'd like to show you is how to use master pages. If you go up to your pages icon, and if you can't see pages in that, in your side windows, you can go up to window and select pages from the drop down, and it'll show up over here. So I have three different masters, A, B, and C. So if we go to master A, you'll see the items that I have on there. And each time a page is created, it's created to one of the masters. So each new page is assigned to a master. So I have this page, this master set up on every single page, essentially because I've copied it also to each of the other masters. So the master A is usually, it usually consists of the tabs and the things that I want to show up regardless on every single page of this planner. So I created the tabs and everything that you see on the outside of this white page. And then master B was for the daily pages. And this is the box where I'm gonna show you how that text flowed. And this little icon is the important part there. So, and then master C was for the notebook pages because I had to change the, the margin and such there and I put the lined paper in. So let's go ahead and create a new InDesign document and I'm going to just show you how those functions work right from the beginning. Okay, here we have a new document and we're gonna go ahead and create master page A. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and create a couple buttons here just as tabs is what we would like within the whole planner. Um, okay, let's do this. And then we'll just make this. All right, we'll make these two tabs. We'll just align them and we'll put a border at 50. All right, and we'll make sure that these are text boxes, text. And we'll just throw some text in there for now. We'll call this home, or we'll call it index rather than home. And we'll center, choose a different font. Okay, we'll copy it and I'm going to paste it over here since I created the box too soon. So then we'll call this 2021. Okay, so that's Master A. And so now if we click on page one, we'll see that Master A is on page one. And if we create a new page down here, it'll automatically apply to Master A. You can see the little A icon right here. So when we click up here in this area and click new, we're creating a new master, which essentially is blank. It's not going to include the A master unless you copy and paste that information there, which is usually the first thing I do. So I'm gonna go ahead and edit, copy, 
Master A, and then click in Master B, and then we're going to do a paste in place. So it'll put it exactly where it is and the other master. So this way it doesn't shift or look like it glitches when you're jumping from page to page. So before I go any further, I'm just going to save this file. We'll just call it, um, let's see, test planner. Okay, so we'll say save. And then now that we're in master B, I want to show you how we flow that text over like we did for the daily planners, uh, the daily view. So if we make this box, you have to make it a, a certain size and I'm going to show you why after. But for now, let's just create a box. You can choose any color you wish. And let's just do this. Oops. Make that a little bit more subtle. Okay, so this is where we're going to put our date. So that's in Master B. So before we do anything else, we're going to open up Excel or anywhere we can create a text document. Excel is the best way to do it because it has the functions to create all the dates for you so you don't have to type them. Okay, now that we're here in Excel, let's go ahead and create the dates along this column. So Excel is so cool with all the functions that it has. So the first thing I do is I select the cell, the first cell, and I go to formulas, and next to date and time, I select the drop down to make this cell a date. And then over here, this nice little formula builder pops out. And for the year, I'll put 2021, the month as one, and the day as one. Essentially, what we're trying to create here is 365 days of the year. We want it all spelt out so we can have it flow throughout the pages of our planner without having to type them all. So since this shows up as numbers, let's go back to home because I'd like this to show up as long date. So if you select long date from the drop down menu, you'll see that it changed it to Friday, January 1st, 2021. So after we do that, I go down to the next line item and I'm going to build my own function here. I'm going to type equals sum open parentheses and then select the cell above, type plus one, and then close parentheses and return. And so now you can see that we have January 1st and January 2nd. So we should be able to hover over, click and drag the lower right hand corner down to show January 3rd. There we go. So that means we should be able to do that all the way down till we get to December 31st. So we'll go ahead and I'm just gonna, for purposes of moving forward, I'm just gonna show you through February 8th, but you would go all the way down 365 days. So we're gonna save this file as a text file. So we'll go to File, Save As, and we'll save it as Days of the Year just on the desktop, save. And let's pop back over to InDesign. And now from the master page, we'll go to master page B, and we will select this box here where we want that date to show up on every page. So we'll go ahead and click on the text button, click the text there, and then go back to your selector and you'll see this little box show up here. We want to click on that box, which makes this area have a, a text flow, a primary master text flow. So let's go down to page number two. Now. So we'll right click on page three and say insert pages. Now this will give us the ability to select how many pages we'd like to insert. So we really want 365 pages with this box right here to put the date. 
So I'm going to type 364 because we already have the one page. And we're going to say insert these page these pages after page 3 and apply master B. So let's say okay. And InDesign will now create 365 pages. There they all are. So you can see 367 pages now total. So let's go back to the first page of where we want to insert this text to flow through all of these pages. To While not selecting anything, let's say File, Place, and we're going to select Days of the Year, click Open, and now you can see that our cursor has turned to a preview of the text that we had in Excel. So once you hover over this box, hold the Alt key on a Mac, Option key on PC, and you see that little arrow turn. So that's when you want to click in the box now. And then unclick. And you can see, if you click a selector, we can get rid of that arrow. So you see that it's put all this text here. If we make this box larger, we'll see all of the text. So ideally, we want this box to only fit the item that we'd like, the one line item. So if we select this text and select all, it's going to select that text throughout all the pages. So that's where we can edit the text to something else. Let's see, we will choose just this font for the time being, and we're going to make it fairly large. And we will, you can always change the line height if you need it to fit somewhere else. And we can center, you can do all of your formatting of that text right here. So now I'm going to show you the next page should say January 2nd, and if we go down to the next page, it should say Sunday, January 3rd, and so on. So all of those pages have been created. And so now, whatever you would like on the Daily View page, or whatever you'd like where that text is, you can go up to Master B again, and say, um, you can create another box, and call it, just to show you how everything carries over, we'll just call it daily view. And now I'll just show you how that carries over on every single one of these pages. So essentially in Master B is where you would want to build your boxes to start your, your layout for that particular page.